welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I'm Danielle from Danielle Sweet Treats. We'll be doing the live here in my kitchen for the whole social distancing thing. Um, yeah, so today we're doing a basic, simple drippy cake, a nice square buttercream cake. I want to try and keep it back to simple and basics for the fact of while we're home, let's use those icing sugars you've all been stocking up on. We've got, pl there's plenty of rangers on the sugar and crumbs website and there's plenty of uses for the icing sugars as well so before i want to start i just want to give a little mention of some of the things that you can make with the icing sugars i know a lot of you like to stock them up so just want to go through a few little things with that my husband marks on the camera so please be kind if you've got any questions he will try and shout them out to me but also carol will be watching to answer them herself so please be aware, everything that happens in my kitchen stays in my kitchen, the same as sugar and crumbs. So, um, what I'm making today is a vanilla and salted caramel square cake buttercream covered using the sugar and crumbs salted caramel icing sugar. And I've also made some salted caramel using my recipe which is available on the Sugar and Crumbs website and that was made using salted caramel icing sugar as well. So that's just one of the other things that you can make with it. Okay, so please be aware the website is still going, everything's still shipping. There's only a couple of staff in the warehouse so please give them a bit of time but everything is still functioning grand. Okay, um, please remember there's obviously the bundle deals of sugar... Uh, icing sugars the cocoa powders which are really good especially for now when we're social distancing we're at home and we've got nothing to do but bake so stay safe stay home bake cookies as you do i don't know why i wrote that because i didn't read it one bit right so i'm just going to start nice and simple oh, you'll have to bear with me for the noise because my mix is quite loud compared to carol's make the buttercream. I'm just going to turn it to me, it's a lot easier. So for the buttercream, we've got 500 grams of salted butter. I recommend salted because it takes that little edge of sweetness off. Um, I don't really have a huge sweet tooth for buttercream and cakes, so by having the salted butter makes it just a little bit easier for me to eat personally, and I know it helps a lot with a lot of customers. So, just going to heat them up, ignore the child's plates. <laughs> Maureen McNamara from New Zealand says hi. Hello Maureen from New Zealand. <laughs> 197 people. Ooh, that's a good start. I'm not just chucking rubbish on the floor, my bin is on the other side of the counter. <laughs> just so, before anyone says anything. So 500 grams of salted butter. From the foil pack, don't use margarine or anything, that's got added oils so it'll be a bit sloppy. So I just want to warm that up in the microwave for about 10 seconds until it leaves an indentation when I poke it with my finger. You've got quite a lot of people already, don't you? Good. 246, it seems. <laughs> of butter which is warmed I want to use one kilogram of icing sugar you can get them in the kilogram in the 500 gram bags so then you'd need two or you can get the two and a half kilograms or the nice big five kilogram bags which are to die for I've got to admit through all of this these icing sugars have been a savior I've done nothing but bake that Maureen says New Zealand is completely locked down, so only groceries and petrol. Yeah, um, I was talking to one of my friends last night who was in New Zealand. She's from England, but she emigrated over. She was saying how even postal, the, anything that's non-essential, you can get done for it as well over in New Zealand, apparently. Right. So with the 500 grams of butter, I want one kilogram 
of that kids bowls come in so handy when I'm baking hey, sorry. hello from Dublin Camilla Murphy You have to mind me, I'm the messiest baker <coughs> alive. Nikki King says, love the apron, Danielle. Thanks, beautiful. <laughs> if I start talking and I'm a bit quiet, please tell me and I'll shout up because I know when I do my lives, I tend to go a bit quiet at home. Okay. So that's just 500 grams I'm going to mix in first. Benjamin Lewis. Hello from Belfast. Hello. So just on low, just to combine it all together. I know Carol chops hers here, but since I've got the lid, I don't. <laughs> <coughs> Get the other 500 grams ready in there. Okay, cool. You're right, darling. Have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Gone over 400 watches. Oh wow! People surely are staying home then. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a great job on camera and comment reading. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> yeah, keep giving him compliments. <laughs> and vodka. And vodka. That was my bribery. and dab it in and taste it so a bit like a dib dab and it's a fab way to try your flavours even if you just pop a little bit in a bowl first and they're also good to keep children quiet like a dib dab Lindsay Pearson is 40 today happy birthday Lindsay are you making yourself a cake? <laughs> Lynn Feather John you've changed your accent <laughs> Kate from Perth Australia says hello wow hi guys <clears throat> so that's the other 500 grams, I'm just going to mix that in. I'm just going on low for now and then I'll bump it up a little bit afterwards. It's not just me on here, Carol will be watching, so if you've got questions, Carol can answer them. We don't have to rely on Mark to answer them. <laughs> Which is probably the best. Heather says, do you not beat butter on its own first, Danielle? I sometimes do, but when I've warmed it like this, I don't really have to. Right, just add a little bit of water to soften it up, because my kitchen's quite cool at the minute. Under the lights it's hot, but everything else is cool. I'm just adding a little bit of brown to add to the caramel colour that I'm aiming for. Barbara Ann Ford says, is that your hubby commenting? <laughs> yes, it is. It's the postman. <laughs> it's the postman. <laughs> Barbara would like that comment. <laughs> Mr. Patel says, do you add the sugar all at once? Um, no, I like to add it in little bits, so mixing it all in gradually, if that makes sense. Just making sure I scrape it all up from the bottom, because my mix is a bit useless for that part. What? Me, banging. And oh. Jake. 
That's Jake getting out of bed. Is he? <laughs> yeah. I'm normally at work at this time. <laughs> <clears throat> Currently got 467 watching. Wow. Me. Thank you, guys. There's a lot of laughing faces going on. <laughs> they will do. I'll make everyone laugh. <laughs> Maybe hubby will buy you a new mixer. Maybe if she's lucky. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there's no need for a new one when this works perfectly. Where's the kids? In bed. In bed. If you've just heard a banging, it's Jake getting out of bed as we speak. Because he's heard us messing. Okay. So now the buttercream's made. Just show you, can you see all that? <laughs> Nikki Let's King see. says we are used to the children and dog in Danielle's videos. <laughs> used, <laughs> 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 it's not my page, I can't comment on that very much. <laughs> but now, thank you, Debbie. Think your hubby is doing a grand job. Mine doesn't come anywhere near the kitchen when I bake. Neither does he, he's been forced <laughs> with a bottle of vodka for this. Brilliant. <laughs> Tell me to shush. I'm a star. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use a round drum for the base on this. I forgot to buy a square board for the bottom, but we're all grand. Are you making friends, my darling? Well, you know. <laughs> okay, no. So I will admit, I cheated and used sweet success cakes because I just love them at the minute. And when I can't be bothered to bake cake and I just want to make cookies, they're fab. So I've got two flavours. I've got the toffee one and I've got vanilla. The toffee goes really, really well with salted caramel. So put that down. <laughs> what? Lynn Feather says, Danielle, you got off cheap there. Mine would want two bottles. <laughs> what <Yeah>. a guy. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. <laughs> so, using a spatula. It's a spatula. No, palette knife. That's the one. Using your palette knife. Focus. Shh. Push it into your corners. You want it all nice and equal all the way around. Then, this is the salted caramel from my recipe. It is available on the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen on the website. And this has been made using the icing sugars. So just a little blob, because I'm going to put it on every layer. when I'm finished I will be giving it to the neighbour to take to the hospital as she works in A&E so it's nice just to give them a little gift a bit of something for all the hard work Louise Cliff says what cake mix is it cake mix mm. this is sugar and crumbs a pre-made my darling not sugar and crumbs sweet success the pre-made when I can't be bothered to make cake then my go to Got over 500 watches now. Oh my goodness. A lot of you are staying home, aren't you? Some more salted caramel. Louise Cliff says, where do you get that from? If you go to the Sweet Success website, my darling, they're pre-made. They come in all different shapes, different sizes. They ha even have fruit cakes. They're really good. 
and also if you're needing to bulk order on margarine or anything like that they've been a godsend for me at the minute with sugar and margarine however i did bulk buy my icing sugars from caro because they can be used to bake with they can be used in cookies which i'll show you now actually made cinnamon pinwheels just normal basic decorating cookie recipe using rather than normal sugar i use the cinnamon swirl icing sugar bag that one then when it was all laid out a layer of melted butter chuck on some more icing sugar a bit of cinnamon slice them up and roll up and it's come out fab it's hubby on the dishes afterwards tracy no. ritchie doubt it <laughs> i doubt it as well <laughs> When does hubby ever do dishes? Saturday night when I finish work. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little bit on top first. Spread it nice and even. Barbara Ann Ford has asked, is that salted caramel easy to make? Extremely easy. Just be very, very careful in case you burn your fingers. And Jodie Basnet has asked, how is the taste and texture? Do they compare to handmade? For for the pre-made cakes they're absolutely fantastic i love them and they last a really long time as well so i'm just putting dowels in just to stop it slipping or moving about when i'm baking when i'm decorating sorry kathy eaton has asked are you using a flavored buttercream please yes my darling i'm using um salted caramel so i know it's a toffee sponge but it goes absolutely fabulous with sugar and crumbs salted caramel icing sugar so it's not usually this colour. I've had to add a bit of colour to it to make it the caramelish colour. It comes out white. Well, normal. If you want it more white, give it a good beat in the mixer. <laughs> what are you giggling up now? <laughs> I'm commenting back to people. You don't need to comment back to people. Oh, no, but you've got 550 people here, don't you? <laughs> you don't need to coming back baby you're here to um, like tell them me in person i'll go over when i'm finished diane bond says what are you making i'm making a basic drippy cake it's salted caramel buttercream toffee and vanilla sponge i'm going to be doing a basic chocolate drip and i'm going to try and use some icing sugar to make um caramel wings and things to decorate so nice and pretty as a bit of a thank you to the NHS staff. Do you have a diabetic friendly re recipe? That's quite an important one, don't A lot of you won't like what I say at this point. So, me personally, no, I don't have a diabetic recipe. A diabetic recipe. My advice is eat one slice, don't be a pig. <laughs> as simple as that. Have one, just. Have a normal size portion if you want any more adjust insulin where appropriate you can substitute for sugar substitutes however that has an adverse effect and you get the squids so it's better just to stick with normal what you know and they just have decent normal portion sizes and don't be greedy carol's probably going to tell me off for being like that carol <laughs> carol's just said you carry on mark it'll save me a job <laughs> That. Well, I've just replied to her. I'll get on cameras next time we go over. Hold into that, Carol. It doesn't cook. We'll so have to sleep. we'll have to sleep though, because there's vodka involved. Oh dear <laughs> lord! I don't think you've ever baked, have you? It's nice to have him comment back as very entertaining. <laughs> and you've heard what people have heard. Mark, where are you from? Your accent sounds Yorkshire. We're in Worksop. We're in Worksop. It's, uh, where Clo is it? Close to Sheffield. Nottinghamshire slash Sheffield slash... Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah. I need another drink. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little layer first on, on the sponges. That way when I scrape it down, it's known as a crumb coat because it holds all your crumbs in. So when the next layer goes on, you don't have crumbs in there. Julie Crompton can't stop laughing. It's very entertaining. <laughs> this isn't a regular, guys. <laughs> so, 
I'm using the Super Scraper by Sugar Sisters on this one because my normal scraper is not tall enough. Just up the road from Vicky Jeffrey, Underwood in Nottingham. It's quite far from Nottingham actually. It's not that far. It's an hour. It's not overly far, it's not like we're going to Cornwall again. <laughs> Paula Flynn says, is that the vodka? It probably were, yeah, I've just <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> Paula Brown said, that sounded like a large vodka. It was. It is. <laughs> I'm sure I just heard the vodka being poured. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, your people are um, more suited for my page, I think. <laughs> Maureen Smith says, do you get more talkative the more you drink? No, I get more karaoke the more Stop. I drink. <laughs> <laughs> Behave. I am I'm being good. Oh, Melanie Grant says, seriously, how much alcohol is Mark pouring? A lot. <laughs> You've got 582 people watching. And they're all interested in you with your drinks. <laughs> Cake is key. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> Sally Harrington says, Mark, you'll be a legend by the end of the night. I already am. Oh, dear. I knew I should have had my mum do this. Tracy Ritchie says, I love a good song. No! <laughs> okay. Oh, so here are. Alison Morris, did you hear about... Carol's oddballs earlier. No. And is there vodka in the cake? No, there's no vodka or alcohol in the cake. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, I love a good karaoke. Shh. <laughs> Lindsay Pearson, how long have you been married? I'll let you answer that one, don't. I want to say three years this year. I want to say too long. Behave. We've been together 11 and third year... Mary. Carol said Mark's our next guest. <laughs> I think we should, me and Carol should have a competition against Mark and John. How about that? Mark and John do something and me and Carol have to collab against something. You two make something together. Me and John will do a song. <laughs> or Carol and John against me and you. Where's the swear words tonight? Which is there is none. More important. No, there is none. Yet. We're not doing that. No. Wait till I get on your nerves. No. You're going to behave. Maybe we can get a song at the end. No. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Carol says, good idea, I love it. Yeah. So me and John will do a karaoke and no. you and Carol make a cake and no. we'll see what's better. <laughs> no. Either me and you against Carol and John, or you and John against me and Carol. Apparently John can't sing. <laughs> Why, can. is he commenting as well? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that's Carol. Mark can't sing either. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I've not heard you. Except that one karaoke at my house. Wow, Mark, I think I may need some tenor ladies, says Donna Louise Andrews. <laughs> what have you done to That's me? bizarre. No, because you're making her laugh so much she's weeing. Do you get it? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this is daily life for us. No cake off. Boys against girls. He will after a few drinks. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I'm, I'm taking attention off of you here. Sorry, darling. You've got 509 people watching still. Well, that's good. Is there any normal questions or is it all alcohol and singing based? John definitely can't sing. Okay, then. Lindsay Pearson says, yes, cake off. Cake off sounds fun. Stephanie Smith says, you and John make a cake. Mark and the ladies can film you. <laughs> oh. Hannah Butt wants me to wave so she can see what I look like. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Done. George Clooney. Picture that. <sighs> Geraldine Allen says, yes, let's put Mark and John on the next live. <laughs> Does John hate me yet, Carol? <laughs> we need to see Mark's face. Come say hello. You're not going to stop unless you say hello. They can see me when they've liked and shared it. Yeah. Like and share. 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 Like and share.
mind share. <laughs> when we get 600. <laughs> Okie doke. So, don't forget guys, I've got to shout out about Carol's £25 voucher giveaway for next week. But I've also purchased one to give away tonight. Yes. So, like and share to enter. And at, at the end, when I'm finished, I'll do a little video for Carol to pop up regarding who wins it. And then Carol will do the giveaway on the Monday for hers. So I'm just going across the top nice and steady to try and make it nice and level. And then I'll fill in all extra holes and bits afterwards. I hate square cakes. I'm sorry this bit might take a little while. I'll get a bit picky when it comes to square cakes. I usually refuse to do them. So, I know all of you ladies have got your ice and sugars hoarded in your cupboards because you all like to do who's got a bigger collection on the page so while we're in isolation now's the time to use them don't save them for your best use them all honestly they're there to be used so what hold on this week with jakey being off school he's really struggling so we're going to make some goodies for him to deliver to all his friends well i'm making goodies for him to pop on his friend's doors. And I'm using the icing sugars for them all. So I'll be making red velvet cake with to make into cake pops, which I'll be using the vanilla icing sugars to make the buttercream to make the pops. Then I'm also making vanilla fudge using the vanilla icing sugar. The recipe for that is on the Sugar and Crumbs website for the easy vanilla fudge and it is super easy to do and it tastes amazing using the icing sugars. Then I'm doing red, sorry, lemon drizzle cake. One second. One second, guys. And I'm gonna be making lemon drizzle cake using the lemon drizzle icing sugar in the cake and as the drizzle on top. What are you laughing at? Danielle's making a vodka cake. Danielle's not <laughs> making vodka cake. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Geraldine Allen. Oh, you can make vodka cakes, but that's not what I'm making today. <clears throat> Nikki King says, can you show us how to make cake pops, Danielle? Yes, more than fine. I'll do a little live at some point regarding cake pops. And Carol Gattenby says, you make everything look easy. <laughs> Thank you. Not necessarily easy, it's just years of practice. Barbara Ford says, Mr. Beginning, how much buttercream for that cake, please? I've used two blocks, so 500 grams of butter and a kilogram of icing sugar. And Karen Gillan says, this is great, you're making us laugh. Don't you? you're a star. <laughs> However, I think that was more aimed at you, my darling. <laughs> I am good. <laughs> okay, so back to that. Then I made, I've made vanilla cookies. Sugar cookies, so rather than using caster sugar, I've used the vanilla icing sugar, which has been fab. Rachel Alliston, do you use the same amount of sugar and crumbs sugar to replace the regular sugar? Yes, work on weight, don't work on volume. So if your recipe calls for 500 grams of caster sugar, use 500 grams of icing sugar. But honestly, anything that uses sugar, you can replace with the sugar and crumbs icing sugars, which are fantastic. It's so good to flavour cookies and to flavour sponges, syrups. I even put some, what is it? Oh. Yeah, I put salted caramel in coffee before, and that was nice. Say I don't drink coffee, I thought it was quite nice. So use your sugar hoards. You right, darling? Yeah, look, I'm just, uh, my phone froze for some reason then. Okay. I'm just trying to catch up a bit. 
Do you use half and half or full strength? I like to use full strength icing sugar. I know when baking with it, I use full straight. But if I want to do buttercream, I can sometimes half and half it, depending on the flavour. Because I know some are stronger than others. What are you giggling at now? Geraldine Allen says, wasn't Mark snoring upstairs in the sugar and crumbs kitchen last time you were there? Yeah. Yes, I was. <laughs> See, they remembered. I told you it happened. Oh, there's some laughing faces going up now. I'm being turned into a... Laughing stock? No, a... Hollywood hero. A laughing stock. <laughs> Come on, guys. My kitchen door's not that big. You can't fit through it if his head's any bigger. Oh, I can. No, you can't. We're not taking the door off its hinges. Yes, we will. <laughs> so... Just slowly going around the edges, making, trying to make my corners as sharp as possible. So yeah, they're making the mini chocolate cornflake tart things, you know what kids normally make. But I'm going to chuck some um, chocolate orange cocoa in there as well to make them chocolate orange. And that's the sugar and crumbs cocoa as well. You are our next superhero, Mark, says Nikki King. The really, point, guys? The point of this video is cake. <laughs> so, then I'll be making meringues with white chocolate and raspberry icing sugars. Uh, I'm making homemade tea bites. Then... Things with marshmallow in the middle and a cookie on the bottom with the... Do you know the moulds everyone's been making them hot chocolate bombs with? I'm going to make them with them. Then honey girl and toffee, all with the icing sugar. So there's a lot of uses. You don't have to keep hoarding your sugars. Use them. Ah, uh, here's an important one. Sorry, Yeah, look. go on then, babe. Uh, where's it going? Can you move the camera so we can see more of the cake? It's slightly out of shot. Let's have a look. No, move it. I'm just going to move me. Move your hand. I can't see the mirror. Sorry, do there you go. Do apologise. More vodka mark. Heard the cap. <laughs> Run out of mixer. <clears throat> There's two monsters on the table, my darling. He's at it again. <laughs> How many vodkas have you had? You sound so funny. Uh, two, Can we focus on the cake? Two, but it's literally where he'll have the whole bottle and you won't be able to tell the difference. Oh, John, you've got a lot to live up to. <laughs> Perhaps you'd be better on the vodka on the next live, says Geraldine Allen. Quite oh, like dear. Geraldine Allen. I think you like them all, apparently. Mark, turn the camera around, let us see your face. No, this is about cakes, not about me. Well, you did say when it got to 600 viewers, you'd show them all. Yeah, but it's though, is it? It's 523. Well, I don't know. So, come on, share. Beth Collins, that's what he always sounds like. It is, she's right. <laughs> and she should know, she was my bridesmaid. She got me very drunk. She did get you very drunk. Oh my God, you're going to be so drunk. He won't. I won't. Thank you, Mark. It's all right, Geraldine. Dear Lord, what have we got ourselves into? Told you this was a bad idea. I knew I should have got my mum. Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't throw me out. <laughs> no, I need you to read comments. You need to show us Mark. John does. Yeah, John comes on the camera. Just imagine Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Stop. What flavour is the cake you're making? I missed the start of the live, says Laura Allen. So, this is a vanilla and toffee cake. I cheated and used Sweet Success Cakes because I've been too busy making cookies. So I just used these, alternated them, and using the sugar and crumbs, salted caramel icing sugar. And I've also used my own salted caramel, which the recipe is on the website. Okay, no. So the plus side, I'm leaving it like that. The, the plus side with the metal scraper is you can heat it up and hot pallet sides to get rid of any marks. 
Come on, then what were you laughing at? It might not have been as much fun with your mum. <laughs> oh dear lord. It probably would have. Okay, so I'm just running the hot tap to run this under to warm it up. A bit of kitchen roll. Leslie Smith, I'm over two years sober. A bit of drink has popped into my mind with all this COVID nonsense. No, it's, no, not, it's not worth it. If you're sober, stay sober. It's not worth it. Don't bother. Well done, though. That's fab. It is. So you just give it a little dab and slowly go across. Because then it'll melt the top layer of the buttercream to leave a nice, soft, smooth surface. Princess Emma says, I'm waiting for the cussing to start. There is no cussing happening. I might be in my own kitchen, but it's sugar and crumbs. Can we have a spin-off series, please? Mark, John and Vodka. I've, oh, oh dear. Jane McDougall. I've got coronavirus in bed watching. Oh, honey. Bless you. Yes. Uh, take care, I suppose. Yeah. Keep hydrated and all that. Look after yourself. We'll make hubby look after you as well. Dale Clark Blackler says the basin has always been on the other side. What's that mean? Pardon? The basin has always been on the other side. I don't know, my darling. I don't know, clue, oh, you mean in my kitchen when I do my lives? It's because I usually have the camera facing me, so I don't need this one reading out comments. Wait a sec. The sink's always been there. Yeah, but when I have the camera facing me, it's backwards. So the sink's on that side, it's all backwards for them, does that make sense? Mm. So it's different. Mm. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Pardon? Someone's made a Rubik's Cube cake. Wow! Helen Miles, I wish my cake had been that smooth and square when I made a Rubik's Cube. I hate squares, so I've just got to keep going until I think it's perfect. But then I think I'll only give up in a few minutes anyway. You've still got over 500 viewers, don't you? Have I? Mm, five, five one three, I get. Your phone says 511. My phone's up to date. Yours is about 30 seconds behind me. It is for much of you. You just turn it in car. Okay. That'll do for me. Okay, so. I'm going to use the new SPD chocolate drip. I know Carol and John have these coming in or they are in. I can't remember which. So basically it's chocolate flavoured drip to drip around the end of your cake. So I'm just going to heat that up in the microwave. Try not to set fire to things. Well there's a hundred extra on YouTube so it's under, oh, wow. oh, It's over 600 apparently. Oh Carol's found a way to screen it there then. Yeah Jane Wilkins says so 500 on it. And 100 on YouTube. Mark, that's 600. It will be. You need to see the cameraman. Come on. You don't need to see the cameraman. Come on up here. Okay. So, I'm just going to get some caramel started. Start making the wings. So, nice frying pan. On low. Show your face to Yeah, we want you to come on. No. When did I promise to come on? <laughs> really? This is better than any soap, Danielle Mark and Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> what more does anyone want in life? Says Geraldine Allen. She's 
come out in quite a few times. Okay, so I'm using the salted caramelising sugar. I'm going to pop some in the pan and let that melt down to a caramel. I do it on low so you don't burn things like I did earlier. And so it doesn't spit everywhere. Sophie Harding, yes it is her kitchen. It's always a mess. <laughs> Jane Wilkins says, oh. she'll put your face on the uh, cussing cake if you don't show it. Show your face, show your face, dot 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 dot, chant, dot dot dot. <laughs> no, this is about cake, it's not about me, it's about cake. <laughs> We'll have to do a live at some point on my page, the X-rated one. I look like cake, that's it. I look like cake. I've got a comment for it, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> say it. But you look like it or like you eat a lot of it? I like to eat a lot of it and I look like it. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so giving it a good shake. A good way to check if it's ready is get a plate or something. Maureen Smith, I agree, it adds to the mystery. <laughs> so just to check if it's ready or not, put it down a plate or something. See how your drippies go. So I'm going to cook it just a little bit, warm it up just a little bit more. Because by the time I get around the other cake, it's not going to spread very far. Have you noticed the icing should look cloudy in the kitchen? <laughs> not, not really. Yes, push cake into fake. What? Well, push face into cake and we get cake and mark all in one. <laughs> if we get 600, then I'll let her do it at end. No, it's going to A&E. All right, fair enough, then we won't. <laughs> it's my business's eighth birthday, Sue. I'm doing a smash cake with Tanya. You I think you smash need to me join if me. you want. I think you need to join me. Have smash me all over. Should we go to Cumbria and have a food fight? We can go to Cumbria and do whatever you like. Yeah, for my business photo shoot. You can smash me all over. Behave. Evan swore. No, but I know what you're meaning and it's not for this page. Vodka drinker equals broken promise. I disagree. Come up here. Stop being an idiot. No, because I need to do my makeup. You don't need makeup. I need to do my makeup. You don't need makeup. Do my makeup. You're not having makeup on. No, no, come in then. Really? It's nearly half done. Help. Do you need to help? Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I can't decide if I've overdone it or what I'm sure. If they're desperate, I'll sing it then. So just, I'm going to check on that. Pardon? Oh my goodness! No wonder. Yeah, no wonder it's nearly all gone. Right, so this should be enough now. Gillian Pink says, did you make your own apron? Yes. Brill. I do them myself, my darling. Um, they're all available on my website, which is www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk. Oh, hold on a minute. You've nearly got 600 people here. I've seized it. I've burned it. What did I say at 600? That you come on the camera. What's the naughty page? I'm liking the sound of that, says Rachel Alston. Well, I can't say it, but if... Someone wants to reply, that would be great. Hang fire a minute. 616. Get up on camera. I'll have to get dressed. You are dressed. Undressed. I'm never doing anything like this with you again. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Everyone's having too much fun. With you, what, what am I supposed to do at 600? I can't remember. Come on camera, they want to see what you look like. Wow, over 600. Come on Mark, I hope they don't. Carol, I'll give him a thick here when, he's, when I'm done. Don't worry. Yeah, so 
there's Mark, my lovely husband. <laughs> I'm in trouble, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yeah, so that's better now. Okay, so it had seized in my cap. So, you want to do it a bit like a T action, like you're drawing capital T's. Can you see the cake? No. Any more comments on anything? Yeah, um, Dale Blackler, hi good looking, well done. <laughs> it's a wonder you can concentrate Danielle. Oh for God's well, sake. Well, can I swap with mine? Stop it ladies! Oh, that wasn't so bad, <laughs> were it? Ladies, stop it. You have both made me smile so much tonight. Thank you, Pam Wedley. Well, I'm happy we can help. And there's loads of love arts flying about, look, so it's all right. Still in trouble, though. <laughs> 627 people watching, Doug. So if we can get to 700... No. Imagine the possibilities. No. This is a cake show, not my husband's show. Well, I can't exactly help it, can I? Andy Gornall says, just give him a thick ear if he misbehaves. Oh, he's gonna when I'm done. Just give that little smooch around. A bit of fun at a serious time is, is good. Well done, you two. Oh, dear Lord. Gillian Pink. I agree. I agree. Oh dear, that looks that look says you're in big trouble, Mark. Says Wendy Campion. I think that's what it says. Right. Please don't tell Mark off. He's done a great job. Thank you, Joanne Yerby. I agree. I could be watching Sky Sports News now. You could be. Mark, you have lifted our spirits this evening. Thank you. Or squirting with chocolate. <laughs> It'll be boiling water. He is handsome though, says Andy. Andy? Probably a girl, babe. If that doesn't melt very well, I'm going to resort to just using my isomol. This is how it sums it up, though. Sally Harrington. We are having good fun and learning from Danielle too. Good. Sums it up in a million, doesn't Can it? Can pass me a block of butter from the fridge, please, my darling? Oh, what? The block of butter from the top of the fridge. Oh, this red one? Yes, darling. Make a bit more. I'm going to be ingredients. Right, I used quite a bit. Mm. Oh, I'm going to make a bit more. Right, that's what I mean. Apparently, I've pulled. <laughs> Michelle Quinn says, I've pulled. Yeah, muscle in the back of my leg going that block of butter. Oh, God. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Leslie Smith says, not much news on the sports at the moment. I know it's boring. He's probably got it double screened on his thing. <laughs> Come on now, I'm not that clever. It has to... <laughs> Geraldine Allen. Oh, come on. It has to be a Mark and John double act with Carol and Danielle on camera. Guys. Oh no, but we could come up with like cake drinking games, couldn't we? No, that's got something to do. Does John drink? I don't know. I know Carol doesn't. Mark Defo talks way more than Carol's John. Mark, you're a great laugh and it's what we are needing at this difficult time. <laughs> Stop encouraging him. Come to agree more. Oh, Emily uh, Richards, do you always use block butter? Yes. I always use block butter because it doesn't have excess oils or excess water in it to keep it soft. Sugar and crumbs says, yes he does, and my share too, so I'm assuming John's a drinker. <laughs> oh, 
My question is, why have we been over so many times and there's not been any drink available? There probably is. I just don't offer it you. I get off it. You go upstairs and fall asleep. Can't help it. Tired. Work nice. Salted or unsalted butter, Wendy Hogarth. You can use either, but I prefer to use salted because then it takes the edge off. Carol says he's an Irishman. All right, yeah, my bad. Fair <laughs> enough. I'm ruining this. I'm Carol sorry. Shields says this is brilliant. And Jade Ford, that's your friend, isn't it? Yes, that's my Jade. We've got money in for. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> hey, beautiful. <laughs> ah, that's why there's no booze. Cause I always go to bed and start snoring for us all to hear. Says Carol. It's punishment. Oh, I'm no good at this. I'm going to start that one fresh. What has this become about me? Pardon? What has this become about me? <laughs> God, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely trying. <laughs> this is me trying. Will the like and share draw be done next week, says Eileen uh, Raybold. Yes, so there will be one on Monday from Carol, but then I'm going to do one tonight because I've also bought one to give to you guys. I thought it'd be nice for me to be able to do something, so I'll probably get Mark to do it at some point. Right, icing sugar. Oh, will you now? Yes, I will. Yes, my dear. Is it before or after payment? I bought your vodka. After payment then? Yes. Good girl. Talk to my phone. Ain't real. Ah, here we are. John may be a whiskey man being Irish. That's alright. He oh. likes whiskey too. I like whiskey. <laughs> Will Mark deliver it, says Lynn Feather. Deliver what? The cake. No, the lady across the road works at the hospital so I'm going to pass it to her. Tasha Snowling says, hey, how are you? And you are doing an amazing job. Thank you. It's nice for someone to compliment me and not that one. <laughs> Nika King says, I think you have had payment, Mark. I don't think I have. The vodka which is nearly finished, which was brand new before this. What time is it now? I don't know. Uh, Five to nine, so we've got another hour and five minutes. So you've been 55 minutes and you've drank half a litre of vodka. That's fine. What are you making? What are you making? Yes, I'm making a butter cream cake. I'm just making some more butter cream to pipe around the top at the minute because I ran out. Andy Gornell says you're doing a fab job and patience of a saint. So I don't know if that's aimed at me or you. <laughs> Dale Clark Blackler doesn't. I'm not sure they get that it's not John tonight. John, what's your bag of icing? You're getting that look. It's not John, Mark. Ah, right. Ah, right. I've caught up now. Sorry. You just dropped below 500, don't you? Too. Wendy Campion has liked and shared twice. Thank you. It's nice to be able to share the love. And it's also good, as we're basing this on the essential basics of icing sugar, it's good for everybody, not just bakers, because everyone's turned to a budding baker in this isolation. Marie Parker says, How lovely to donate to A&E. Well done, honey. Hashtag newbie. Oh, thank you. Is that not someone you know, though? Uh, no, she says she's a newbie. Right. Well, she's not really, is she? I'm going to smack you at some point today. I hope so. Danielle, you are so calm. She's not normally. I'm doing it because it's not my page. <laughs> it is an important one, though. 
Did you just put hot water in the buttercream? If so, what does that do? It's not hot this one, but you can add it hot. It just softens it up and with the heat, it makes it softer so that it still sets when it's cooled. Only just a little bit because I want it nice and smooth for piping. Julie Crampton can't stop giggling. Melanie Grant says, Danielle, don't forget the caramel behind you. I know. Don't worry, I know. See, people are ignoring me. You've still got 480, haven't you, though? Good. Clark Blackner says, hard work having hubby and alive. Loving this live. Thanks. <laughs> Debbie Todd says, love your Facebook page and loving watching this tonight. Fab, well done. Thank you, everyone. Lauren Alexandra says, I'm now wanting a bowl of icing just to eat. Stuff the wedding diet. <laughs> Screw the wedding diet. But like I said, if you're wanting to try flavours, Buy a packet, get little little lollipops and make them into like homemade dip dabs. It's a great way to taste the flavours. Can you do that plain? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's plain. Again. It's just locked down, isn't it? We're all going to finish them, aren't we? Earth's clean. So just giving that a little shake. I don't want to put anything in to stir it just yet. Um, Here's an important question, though. Yes, darling. Laura Allen says, as much as it is an amazing gift to donate to the key workers, is that something you are allowed to do with the current situation? As infection control, etc., doesn't everything need to be sealed? Yes, so. Hold on. There's more, apparently. Yes, press read all. Please, no hate. I'm just curious. Sorry. No, that's absolutely fine. No hate. And also, this is a very, very touchy subject. We've had a lot of problem on mine, Carol's pages, on a few different pages. So, the statement from the government is takeaways and everything are allowed. They're encouraging for things to be delivered. Um, so, under the rules, via takeaway, you're allowed to carry on. And under in environmental health, they say you can carry on so long as you adhere to social distancing so the way i did a lady the other day is i told her when she gets here open a car boot get back in the car and i popped it in with gloves and mask and all that on however just be aware you need to contact your insurance as it's only businesses like registered businesses that can do cakes and stuff if you're a hobby baker unfortunately you're not allowed to do that but I know some insurances are not even covering anyone as it's not classed as an essential item for people to go out to collect. They're making it so it's not covered by your insurance when you come to delivering it or having it picked up or anything. So bring your insurance, bring your local EHO, ask in your area because I know each area is different. Some people have said their EHOs have said no, but so far the majority that I've seen people messaging about have said yes. So please ask your environmental health officer, ask your insurance to see if you will be covered because with the coronavirus, a lot of insurers aren't actually covering even businesses delivering and it's 
a bit of a kick in the backside. They're not covering home bakers. So just be careful, give them a ring, have a double check. Linda Donnelly says, a plane went over my house yesterday. There's been quite a few RMs. Been a lot of planes low, haven't they? Yeah. Considering everyone's meant to be inside. Linda Miles says, you need to make an apron saying patience of a saint. I think I might. <laughs> I might need one. Or I might just make him homeless. This is the most important question I've ever seen. Right. Debbie Hargreaves, okay. a thinking person. If everyone is on lockdown, does that mean there will be a baby boom in nine months? <laughs> I advertised this on my Facebook page. No, there will not. <laughs> not not in this us. house. <laughs> no. But I've got curtains. <laughs> that is disgusting. I don't care. There will be no baby boom in nine months. There will <laughs> not for us. Curtains. Stop it. But no, um... I actually advertised it saying in nine months don't forget that I do baby shower cakes. And a lot of people found it funny, a lot of customers. So just doing a nice decorative swirl on top. Maureen Ryder says, tell us again what's in the pan. So I burnt my icing sugar one because I kept talking and I weren't paying attention. So I've just quickly used ice malt. But you can use ice shut up. You can use icing sugar to make your caramel to make fans, which I'll show you in a minute. Nikki King says that or a big divorce rate. Divorces or pregnancies, they're gonna go through the roof. This is a nice comment though. Go on then. Laura Allen says yeah. That's awesome that you are able to still carry on doing what you do best. And even better than that, you can donate to such a worthwhile cause. The NHS deserves such a huge battle style awards now for coping with COVID-19. I think they do too. I Mr. agree. Right. Babe. What's that, though? Twills. Eh? Hey? Chocolate. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going home. <laughs> You've rigged this, haven't you? <laughs> You've planned this. I love how you kept the glass so right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't spill a drop. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> could be seriously hurt. Yeah. <laughs> You're not. I think I'd still laugh. <laughs> Linda Miles says he's fell off his chair. Really? <laughs> oh, good Lord. Have you just fallen off the chair? Yes, <laughs> Nicky King, I have. Face first, chair went out from under him and he went forward with his dream. <laughs> Kay Fox, did he <laughs> rall Ivor? No, roll I, over. I fell ho I fell over. Roll over. <laughs> Debbie needs some pads. I need pads. It froze. What happened, Geraldine? It I fell, fell off. Oh, what am I doing? The vodka will cushion you. It's right. <laughs> it did. That should be smoking. Jack Maloney. I know that name. Why do I know that name? I don't know. Because they commented earlier. Might be. Die Wheeler, ha ha, that's all funny. Yeah, for you. You fine, Mark, I can hear you. Yes, Dale, I'm fine. Thank you. Did you fall off the buffet? No, the chair. How did that happen? What know. happened there? I don't know, but I'm so happy I didn't have this in mind, otherwise it'd have splashed my face. The earth moved. No, you can't blame the earth for you Did you fall off the, the buffet? No, I can't believe it. Oh my god, this is just the best night. Yeah, for you, Carol Shields. Thank you. I like Carol. <laughs> I'm crying. I need another drink. Oh, well, I'm glad everyone. Drink more. No, I'm glad everyone's taking pride in my misfortune. So I'm just spooning this onto a non-stick mat. 
if you don't have a non-stick mat then I find lace mats to be fabulous for the same thing. Oh, here's a serious one, darling. Another oh. serious one, have we? Hold on. Laura Allen, mm -hmm. I'm a healthcare assistant. I've just finished my ninth day on shift. Jesus. Oh dear, I'm opening it window. Ninth day on shift. As we're also having to cover extra shifts, etc. As my home, I work in, are taking some of the patients that are coming out of hospital recovery from COVID-19. Well, God bless you, Laura Allen. That's all I can say. You're doing fantastic, guys. Debbie Todd says, so what have you made there and how? Okay, so these are just caramel bands. So melt sugar, which I like to use icing sugar from Sugar and Crumbs for a flavoured one. However, I burnt that one, so I've just quickly chucked in ice malt so I don't burn anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to make with the chocolate mould some little mini chocolates to add on as well. I'm just uh, commenting back to people that are asking other things though. Like what? Are you okay? Another top up there Mark by Lynn Feather. So I've just put, of course. Are you all making friends with my husband? <laughs> I told you before this happened. Free to a good home but he does require plenty of vodka. <laughs> yeah, basically. Right. Watching your live tonight has really cheered me up after working nine long days in healthcare. I love my job and I couldn't be prouder to be work in healthcare at the minute. But my gosh, it's hard. That's Laura Allen again. I bet it's hard. To be fair, she deserves a <laughs> she deserves a pay rise for one. Yeah. And a round of applause from everybody. I think. Well, look at when we're in school. Nine days. The worst paid jobs are shelf stackers, NHS staff. And yet, you guys are the ones running the country. People Keeping like her. Rachel Tyndall, don't you know her? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, right, Rachel. Where did you get the chocolate mould from? Uh, I don't know. I've had it for about... Tesco. Eight years. No. I, I do actually think it may have been an eBay buy. Or an Amazon buy. She deserves a medal, she does. That last that's done nine days straight. Oh, God, yeah. Where is it ours? Because there's hardly anyone there. They're sending people home early. Anne keeps getting sent home early. Does she? Yeah. She works for NHS, so... But there's hardly anyone in our hospital because trying to keep up beds free, but then there's no one hardly there with it yet. <sighs> Terrible. So now it's cooled. Just little shards. Peel them off. Again, if you don't have a non-stick mat like mine, you can use the back of a lace mat. Debbie Todd, well done Laura, not all heroes wear capes, come, come to agree more. I agree. Come to agree more. So these are just some of the sugar fans. Marcia Law says that is looking fabulous. Thank you. Can you eat them, says yes. Donna Louise Andrews. Yeah, just sugar. You can make them from the icing sugar so they taste nicer. That's a definite. Just watch out though because it is burny. Burny, burny. Barbara Ford says, was it only icing sugar? On this one, I burnt the icing sugar in the pan so I just quickly chucked icing malt in. But it does the exact same. Still over 500 people, though. Good. So you just spoon it on, give it a spread. This tastes like cinder toffee. Nikki King says, You must be very proud of Danielle and her cakes, Mark. Yeah, 
I am actually. I used to be really fit and slim. Yeah, we both did. We both used to be skinny. Right. Nope. Okay, now, so just while they're setting for a minute, just want to go over a few things. So today's live is based more on the icing sugars, more on the basics. So, um, I need them in a minute. Here's one. One second, babe. So it's based more on the basics of icing sugar because it's all right saying this product, this product, this product and advertising it all for Carol. But at the end of the day, while we're in isolation, we're not baking for customers. We're doing it for us. So use that bag of icing sugar you've had hidden in your cupboard, saving it for a rainy day or saving it for yourself on your special things. Make it now. While you've got the time to bake, bake your stuff so make cookies with it with the ice and sugar there to die for or make marshmallows make fudge they go in anything you can bake anything that has sugar replace the sugar with ice and sugar go by weight and not by volume and it adds a lovely flavor it's fabulous go on because you're dying to tell me whatever this was i am lynn steer says what is ice amount please and debbie todd says how did you color it your ice amount. How did you call your ice amount? I just overcooked it a little bit. Fair enough. <laughs> Put it on hot and it gets more of a cinder toffee flavour. Maureen Ryder, what is your job, Mark? Nothing to do with cakes. Let's <laughs> just dry that off. Oh, Donald Louise Andrews. Carol, do you sell that? Does Carol sell ice amount? Um, I'm not sure. But if you can't get ice and malt, use icing sugar into a caramel in a pan and then just do the exact same with that. Or you can get mints. If you're using mints and you want to melt them in the microwave, use a, a glass jug. Otherwise it will melt your plastic one and it will melt everywhere and you will have to buy a new microwave. So it can be done with mints, it can be done with icing sugars, um, normal sugar or ice malt but ice malt is more of a really really strong mint so when you go to cake international and you see all these fantastic figures of it looks like it's made from glass but it's from sugar it's ice malt and it's fabulous it's something i'd love to learn to do but i keep burning myself i'm clumsy so i'm not very good at doing stuff like that and that's not Central fans. Hot, hot, hot. Lindsay MacGyver says, I'm a health and social worker and my service users don't understand the reason why they need to stay in and not touching staff. Trying Ugh. not to get them to understand is hard. I've got think, to give you this. I'd probably punch them and say, stand the hell back. The way my sister explained it earlier is when you used to be in PE and you say, go and find a space and you used to fling your arms around it. If you hit someone, you're obviously in their space. My sister said that earlier. It makes perfect sense. I just don't think I can walk around all this flailing my arms and punching people. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> it'd be hilarious, it? but they might, might stand tomorrow. they might stand back. I will do it tomorrow. Please don't. We're running around Aldi going like that. I need Aldi. <laughs> oh dear. They're only allowed one person at once, so I can't Carol really. Carol Gattenby says, you always make beautiful cakes. Oh, thank you. I do try. What are you giggling at now? My You're phone, like a child. No, my phone's half a minute behind, isn't it? So your arms have just been falling around. <laughs> Just come up on my screen and that's it, I was done. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. No, I'm done yet. Mm -hmm. Now, we're nearly done. 
Okay, so luckily we're nearly done with this. What time is it? 17 minutes past 9 pm. Okie doke. Um, no, you can't, you can wait. Because I'm nearly done with this. Shall I make some cookies? Shall I make the cinnamon cookies? What do you all think? Because I've got a bit of time left once I finish this. It's gone a lot quicker than I expected it to. But we've still got some space. So shall I make the cinnamon pinwheel cookies? Right, listen. Joey. Joey. I can't say his middle or second name. So late in your life. Just want to ask, how did you do that thing on top? The fan. I'm just going to make some more now. So... It's making caramel, or so for the caramel you can use sugar or icing sugar, so it's flavoured nice. I burnt my icing sugar because I was too busy messing with that and laughing at him. <laughs> so <laughs> I just chucked icing oil in the pan. I'm just melting it. So then when it's melted, I'll put it on my non-stick mat, fan it out a little bit, and yeah. Pardon? I feel bad because I can't say his name. If you can't say someone's name, just say the first name, baby. Joey. There you go then. You're, not, you're still not eating your chocolate. What chocolate? That chocolate I gave you. I haven't seen that chocolate. That's what you fell off the chair going to get, darling. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was vodka. No, you fell off the chair going to get that. Oh, that is nice. Good. Rachel Alliston says, How long have you been baking? I made my first cake in January and it was bloody ugly, but it tasted <laughs> okay. Well, as long as it tastes nice, that's all that matters. Um, I agree. I've always baked, always, since I was little with my granny, but I've been a business for eight years now, so it's, it's nice. It's nice to be able to go on and do these lives, I think. Annette Sheeper says, we don't mind if you can't pronounce our names. I probably could if I'd not drank so much vodka. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am sorry, Doug. I'm sorry. 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 Bye, everyone. <laughs> Right, so while that's melting, I'm just going to quick chuck a ribbon on the board. Hey, that, that Joey that I couldn't pronounce his second name says thank you. I appreciate that. What, well, thank you for trying or? I don't know. Paula Flynn says chocolate and vodka. Annette Sheeper says, cheers to the vodka, lol. <laughs> oh dear lord, but I definitely think we need to do uh, me and Carol versus you and John. Danielle, I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I am. I'm enjoying the attention. Look, I have to wait. I, couldn't, I didn't want to do this. I know you didn't. You didn't want to do this at all. <laughs> there's two of you. What do you mean there's two of me? Exactly. Oh, was the isomalt flavoured? No. Says Pauline Privet. No, it's not flavoured isomalt, my darling. But I find when I leave it to cook a little bit longer than I should, it goes a bit more like cinder toffee flavour. So it's not so boring. Other people may say burned. <laughs> Viv Goddard says, have you tried toffee vodka, Mark? Um, I might have. Yes, when I bought you them mini grey gooses. There's toffee in that. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Why is it not melting? No, it's because I'm not turning it on, man. Lynn Feather says, Danielle and Mark, you have been fab tonight. Thank you. Well, Danielle is the star, really, because it's that cake and she makes cakes and I don't. So while I've been wasting all that time, the hob's not even been on to melt it again. I just make jokes. Oh dear lord. Is that sticky back ribbon says Wendy Hargar. So I've put stick I've put double sided tape on and then that is washi tape. Ah, which is brilliant because Jackie Richards just says, is that washi tape? Yes, washi tape. So it's kinda of like a glitter paper crafty thing, so hobby craft and stuff stock it. But it's really good for glitter ones, patterned so it is sticky, but it's not very sticky, so I like to put a bit of double-sided tape on first and then add the washi tape. And it's fab, especially for little girls' cakes where it's got a bit of gold and stuff on it. Natasha Chavon, maybe? maybe? Maybe it says Chavon. 
Are you a home baker or do you have a studio too? Home baker, my darling. Well, I've got two kiddies and one's really young. There's no point in me paying childcare fees. And that sheepers says, it's comedy gold with you two. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> and Lorraine Stevenson says, you're a natural, Mark. Well, my wife's called Danielle and she is a natural. I agree. It's about cake. Not vodka. It might be. So, does everyone want to see me make some of these pinwheel cookies to fill up some more time? Because we've not done the whole two hours. If you want me to do it, put your likes, put your shares, put your thumbs up, your love hearts, all that. Like and share. Thumbs up, etc. Thumbs up, like, share. What's that tape called? Again, please. Washi tape. And it's available at Hobbycraft. You can get it online on Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. Um, it's really pretty. Let me show you. Washi. <laughs> Sorry. No, there's just loads of people put washi up. <coughs> so, glittery silver. Nice gold. Sure. More silver, they come in colours, you can get them in patterns, they're really pretty. You've got nearly 400 people though. Good. Let's make a big one. That's the way Mark nailed it, says Natasha Siobhan. <coughs> I don't know what I've done. Making people laugh by being a drunk. Nicole Jane Sinkinson says, Love the cake, that's amazing. Thank you. Laura Allen says, Wow, that looks amazing. I haven't had any cake in nearly a year since I joined Slimming oh, World. Wow. I could eat that cake though. LOL. Kiss, kiss. Mm. <clears throat> so that's I a long got... time to not have cake. I've got to say, I've gone totally off cake. Same. These just aren't drying very well. Hang that in the fridge for me, my darling, for just a minute. Say so what, though? Put it in the fridge for me for a minute. What, in our fridge? Yes, in our fridge. I've got to put my phone down. Hold on. That's fine. On the shelf? Any shelf, just on there. So. Top baker. Am I quickly making some pinwheels to take up some time, people? What do we think? Here you go. No, not giggity. Hold on. Jade Locke says, can you colour the ice malt? If so, yes. what colours do you recommend, please? Okay, no, so you can use dusts or you can use a little bit of gel. But if you use gel, be aware it may seize quickly. So you've got to get it in and mix it really, really well. Maureen Ryder says, if no mat to put sugar on, what can we use, please? Lace mat lace mat yep and if you've not got a lace mat then you can try on baking paper but then be aware you're going to be there a while picking it off maria carrick are you still selling your cakes during the lockdown no personally no i've i've stopped andy cornell does a bear shit in the woods <laughs> <laughs> that's what they've said i'm sorry that's what they've said does a bear shit Stop. in the woods Dear Lord. Can you put glitter in isomalt? Edible, yes. If you use edible stuff, you can put it in. What are you looking for now? A drink. <laughs> Let's see how much flour I've got. We keep saying yes to pinwheels, but Mark isn't passing it on. No, he's not. <laughs> well, what means? So let me move that to the side for a minute. Okay, I haven't got all the ingredients I need. I've run out of flour, but I will make do with what I've got. Okay. Geraldine Kerry says, how long in advance can you make shards? Thanks. Um, I find they go a bit sticky after a while, so making them just before you need them works great. Nina Gordon, yes, a swear word made my night, lol. 
Knew you'd be waiting for one, Nina. Here's one for you, though. Jack Maloney says, is that a sweet stamp set on the background? Yes, it is. Love using them. I love them, too. Um, Babe, I'm going to have to come past you for that big thing. Lorraine Briggs says, Mark, drink through it. You're great. I agree. Get off. Please hold that. I'll hold that. It's an egg. Yep, don't break the egg. I'll try not to. Don't break the egg. Mark, will you get a job with Carol? No. <laughs> I'm only going to make a little bit because I've not got a lot of flour. Well, actually, screw it. I'm going to puff it up with self raising. Screw it. Okay. So, knife. Okay, so 220 grams of margarine or butter, whatever you want. Get okay, 200, sorry. Penny Talent says, my daughter's favourite are cinnamon wheels. Can you say hi to her, please? Name is Maisie. Hi, Maisie. If you watch this, Mummy might let you make some pinwheels. Sugar and crumbs and nifty nozzles. Mark, can you do my cameras at any time? <laughs> yeah, do you know when you first walk in the room, there's all the cameras that you walk into I'm usually? Put lovely, love you a long time. Love you a long time. Oh, dear Lord. Get a room. Now, no chocolates. Oh. Okay, so 200 butter, 220 icing sugar. And this is the cinnamon swirl. What are you giggling at now? Uh, Dawn Clark has said, where can you buy flour? Having difficulty finding any in the supermarket. So am I. I'll be honest, I've really, really struggled. Then Lynn um, Feather says, fees are a litre of vodka. <laughs> yeah, I've really, really struggled with flour too, but I've managed to get four bags of the self-raising today at Aldi. There was no plain, but it's there. You've just got to catch it early in the morning. Just be aware, flour mills are usually working 24 hours a day anyway, so there's not really any more time to produce more than what's required, so that's why there's a bit of low stock in shops. So just take your time to go around shops when you need to. Um, yes. Yeah, go for it, baby. Okay. So for these, I'm adding cinnamon. about a teaspoon of or two teaspoons just go it and want to save some from the middle obviously bit of mixed spice about a teaspoon ground ginger about a teaspoon and a half and maple syrup forgot the word then Glug, glug off. Move it over to the side. Oh no, I'll leave that side. You'll want your oven on 150 degrees. True. 150, 160. And that's a line tray. After this, I'll also give Carol the recipe to put on the website. Gloves. You can do this in a mixer if you want, but I am not cleaning my mixer to do this. I can't be bothered, so we're going by hand. This is also a plus size, it means I get to eat that lot. Oh dear. Okay. 
if you use butter at room temperature it's a lot easier to mix in and you avoid the clouds I should really have thought ahead and thought I was going to be doing something else other than a cake didn't I seeing as I usually do two cakes in one episode and what I've also done for next time I'm due on I've got some dummies up there so I will do what was originally planned last month so just giving that a good mix and then you want to try and get all that off your hands you want to mix in one egg see comments Mark just popped upstairs to the little one but I'll get him to track back in just a minute the oven is on 150 to 160 and at this point we want to add 450 grams of plain flour I haven't got that amount of plain flour unfortunately but what I'm going to do is just top it up with a bit of self-raising. If these ones go puffy, that's fine. They're just for me. But you want two, 450 of plain flour. Plats. Okay, so just want to mix that in. It's quiet without you here. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. You don't know, don't say that. hand right in there and mix it all together do you want to scroll back a bit and tell me any comments I've missed <coughs> um, well, last one done. I don't know just read me some what's happened to hubby got very quiet <laughs> hubby went to check on the little one Mark's disappeared. Can you use normal syrup? You can use normal syrup if you want. I just find maple syrup gives that a little bit of taste if you want. To me, this smells like a giant cinnamon graham and I absolutely love them. If you don't use maple syrup, what can you use instead? Um, vanilla extract or a little squirt of mayo. But I know a lot of you don't like using mayo in your stuff. Make sure it's got a nice, smooth, soft inside, but yet a little bit crunchy on the outside, if that makes sense. I need to go find more syrup. Yes, I left a comment and he replied to one before and one after, so thought they weren't seen there. What? Welcome back, Mark. 
chill recipe so I don't really want it all to stay in one place I want it to go a bit all over Donna Louise Andrews yep. says can you run through the ingredients please yes so 200 grams of margarine 220 of the cinnamon swirl icing sugar from sugar and crumbs then an egg about three or four tablespoons of maple syrup then you want a table, uh, yeah, about a tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of cinnamon, about a teaspoon of mixed spice. Mix it all together, and then you want 450 grams of plain flour. So nice, lovely ball. I need that man. Now this is dry. Let me quick chuck that on there because I want the mat. Laura Allen says. Mayo? Have I just heard right? Yep. What does that do? Keeps it soft <clears throat> in the middle where they're rolled up so it doesn't all go too crunchy. But I also recommend using mayo on chocolate cake as well. And it keeps it lovely and moist. Ta-da! Pancake! Let me move that behind me. Mayo in cake? Yes, mayo in cake. It makes it lovely and soft. Look yeah. at that time I put it in a cake for you and you said it was the best cake you've ever had. Told you you had mayo and you had a little tantrum. Debbie Todd says, are you able to post recipe on your page, please? I'll pop it on my page and I'll also give it Carol to pop on the Sugar and Crumbs website, especially with it having in the Sugar and Crumbs icing sugar. Maureen Ryder says, well, I'm going to have to leave. Just want to say, great devil and Mark, love the banter with you. Both stay safe. <laughs> Thank you. Stay safe, my darling. Look after yourself. So I know it's a non sick map, but I just want to put a little down just to be safe. I prefer wooden rolling pins for these. Don't forget to mention your recipes, Doug, and... Uh, I know. And the life and the if food. anyone... All right, then. Okay. If anyone wants more of our recipes, don't forget I also have recipe books. I have packs with it all in. Sean Little, where do you get that huge block of margarine from, please? That was Sweet Success. It's 12 and a half kilograms, and I think it was, like, 20 quid or something. Or not even that. I think it may be in, like... 15. It's not expensive anyway. Do you think I could actually cube these up and make my own cinnamon grains? It smells exactly like them. I hope so. Yes. I love just sitting and eating them out of the box. So you want to try and make it a nice long rectangle. Oh, poop. What am I doing? So roll it as thick as you would your sugar paste when you're covering a cake. Nicole Jane Sinkinson says, Ooh, where is your book? I would love to have a go at some of your recipes. <laughs> oh, thank you. They're all available online, so they're instant downloads once you've bought them. Um, they're at www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk. There is nine. Um, the first pack is basic about 9, 10, 11, I can't remember, it's been that long since I wrote it. I think there's about 11 cake recipes and it's basic. So everything I've kind of learned over the years of me baking. Um, basic information, disclaimers, all that sort of thing. Pack two is 31 cake recipes. 31 cake recipes um, and how to do them, all that sort of thing. Pack three is a kind of self-help, so if something's going wrong with your batter or your cakes, um, you've got an arsy customer, that sort of thing. Um, pack four is all those 31 recipes wrote in sizes 4 inch to 16 inch cakes, so you don't have to scale it up, scale it down. Pack five and six is, one's a cleaning and one's a pricing, so my cleaning schedule and stuff which EHO loved and basically how to price your cakes individually so you know how to price your things so there's nothing worse than getting a cake thinking oh it'll only cost this much to make it and then you go over what you've quoted shut up laughing <laughs> um so that's really helpful to know exactly how much cake costs 
to then be able to quote easier. Um, seven is cookies pack and then eight is sweet treats so meringues, fudge, brownies, blondies, all that sort of stuff. And pack nine is gluten free, nut free, dairy free. It's just a few ways, different things you can use to replace different ingredients, what I recommend, and a couple of cake flavours using those. And also there's how I deal with customers in that situation. Right, crack on with this. Annette Sheepers says, so Danielle's packs are great. I've printed them all out. Thank you. Wow, she could do a massive book. Get I do it. need to put it all in one book. I'm one not going to lie. Disappointed. I need to get it all. I want to have it all done properly into one big proper book. So, just some more salted butter, and I'll, you're going to want to melt that. So, you don't have to use the cinnamon icing sugar. If you want to use it, if you want to make a normal one, normal cookies use the vanilla, or mm. you could use a black cherry one and then you could add jam in it as you roll it up and it, they'd be lovely you can use all the different flavours that Carol supplies in the in the icing sugars but they work fabulous with this they're great but even in normal cookies like that so they're lemon so that's fab sugars can replace any normal sugar in any recipe so if you're making a lemon meringue and um, you could make the pastry lemon meringue. yeah you could make pastry with the lemon ice and sugar and stuff like that it's really good Nicole Sinkington says brilliant glad I've come across this video I've only been baking one year Oh. Always looking for advice on how to better my skill. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy. So, just using a brush. This is a. I only use this for food. I don't paint the house with this and use it for cake. It's got nylon brushes, so I'm able to sterilise it afterwards in between uses. So, this is just melted butter. Laying that on. Debbie Todd says, never use the icing sugar, so really need to make my first purchase. They are fabulous. I'll tell you what, that vanilla one, I buy in the 10 kilogram bags because I could just eat it with a spoon. It's the nicest vanilla I've ever had. So could I. So, I'm just pouring some of the cinnamon swirl in there. And because I like it extra cinnamon, good glug of that. Because there's nothing better than seeing all the little bits in the middle. Give that steer. and then sprinkle on. This gets messy, I'm not going to lie. Oh, pants! I needed uh -oh. that. I needed to save some butter. It's alright. Sainsbury's are short. What? Sainsbury's are short. No, I've got butter, I just need to... I'm not melting anymore. Maria Carrick says, are they expensive? Are what expensive? Oh, the icing sugars, no. Nope. <laughs> Took me a minute then, guys. No. So, take a pizza cutter, cut it straight down the middle to start with. Because then you have a rough guide of what you can do where. So I'm going to cut this into three on each side, so the full thing goes into six. But then I will turn that into 12 in just a second. Hold on. Alice Morris says, best things ever, I have 31 bags. Stop hoarding them, use them. Danielle will tell me off. Danielle's going to go mental, stop hoarding. I don't like cinnamon or the smell of it. You don't have to have cinnamon, you can do it with any other flavour if you want. So just wet the ends with a bit of melted butter but I've used all mine so I'm just using a bit of water Leslie, Leslie Smith <laughs> I have about 60 bags why? <laughs> stop hoarding! Jesus okay. 
So the first bits will break up as you're rolling it, but that's fine. Don't worry. Just carry on going. Roll all the way to the end like that. And then chop in half. So just like that. Pop on a baking sheet. So don't worry if they break up first when you first start rolling them, that's fine. I quite like it because I find it makes it a bit crumbly when you come to bite into them. Have I? Mm. That's good. Just drop below. That's okay, it's getting late. Damn it. We have to remember it's Monday night, it's nearly 10. People still have to work tomorrow. I'll have to stop singing too. No, you're not singing. So if your mixture feels a little bit dry and starts to pull apart a bit, that's when you could have added a bit more. You can mix it all back together and then add a bit more of the syrup. I find it helps keep it all together a bit. Okay. What time is it, my darling? Uh, 10 to 10. 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10 to 10. Cowboy bedtime. Cowboy bedtime. <laughs> Shabba. So, that's them. I'm just going to pop them in the oven. So, between 150 and 160 degrees. And they will come out like such. So, with all this waste icing sugar, don't thin it. Scoop it to the middle. and you can make the drizzle sauce with that oh. or you can use royal icing and some of the vanilla which I quite like doing I'll save it because I'll do some more with it but Debbie Argy says Shabba takes me back oh dear lord she's just fucking me isn't she yeah <laughs> Shabba <laughs> I have to live with this so I have got more, which I'm going to pop aside in the fridge to chill and I'm going to let the kids use it tomorrow or I can pop it in the freezer to save. Oh, I hate wearing gloves. Let me just tidy up a bit. Um, <laughs> what are you giggling at now? That one there. Shabba. <laughs> Shabba. Chuck that in the freezer for us, darling. Don't, don't. What was that? Do you know, I've kept like five, six hundred people for my finger. I wonder how many of them are watching just for you. All of them. What do you want to do? I will sing for them. No, you're not singing. So those cookies will be in the oven for about 15-20 minutes. Just when they're browned, then you can take them out. Jackie Richard says, don't forget your chocolate squares. I know. Do you want to get them out for me? <laughs> Where from? Fridge! Alright. You popped them in the fridge for me. Did I? Yeah. What, this brown? 
Yeah, the brown chocolate mould. <clears throat> Like dollar meat. It's not like you're having dollar meat, that's being delivered soon. I don't want to ruin it. I'll sing for it. You're not singing for anybody. I will. Mm. And pretty all the way around because there's no point in decorating just the front. Um, I'm gonna add some nuts to that, I think. Actually, no, if it's going in the hospital, it's better not to have nuts. No, stop it. Oh. What are you giggling at? <laughs> no. So just using the sugar flare colour pump, give it a little sparkle. something else just bear with me guys solution rejuvenate spirit yep. and I'm going to just paint the edges it's a tiny bit just to make a bit of a paste to paint with do is I'll just quickly paint this bit and then what I'll do is I will leave you for the night but as soon as the stuff in the oven has finished I will take a photo and pop them up but I will also add them to the ones I made earlier do you want to sing? no you're not singing pack it in you're not singing no if you don't have rejuvenate spirit or you can't have it for religious reasons lemon juice is also works but i've also been told rose water works fantastic with these powders go on mark natasha siobhan says can isomalt go in the fridge uh, i'd say no it goes sticky but i'm not a pro so i have no idea nicola jane sinkinson says give us a song no no song stop encouraging him Bad women. Bad. When will the voucher date be done? Okay, so there's a voucher draw which I'm going to do today. I'm going to get Mark to do it for me. I'll do it. I'll get Mark to pick one. Who pulled the plug? Who pulled the plug? <laughs> you tell me. I'm asking what you've done, right? Who pulled the plug is a question. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Marilyn healed. Thanks, Danielle. Great tutorial. Not forgetting the caramel for its entertainment value. Well, you know. Yeah, right. so a little bit of gold. Not standing out very well, but it's fine. God, that's good, isn't it? What? Thanks for a great demo. Great way to start my morning in Brisbane. Oh, wow. Brisbane is tomorrow in Australia. Yeah. That's fantastic, there. Yes, we need a song. No, there's no song. Not allowed. No. Let so... him sing. Five seconds. Everyone's saying, let him sing. No. I'm prepared, but you know. No, you're not. Right. We're no so... singers to love. 
today. Now we're at the end of our live. Behave. <laughs> We've made a two different layer square cake with salted caramel buttercream. There's also salt, my own homemade <laughs> salted caramel in the middle. The recipe for the homemade salted caramel is on the website. Um, made, covered it in the buttercream, which is salted caramel, sugar and cream. <laughs> Stop it before I smack you on. I'm reading comments. Made the fans, made the mini chocolates, and then because we've had some time left, we've made some cinnamon pinwheels, which are really good. The ones that are in the oven, I'll let finish. I'll take them out, I'll let them cool, take a nice photo of everything all together. I'll give Carol the recipe to pop on the website, but that's using the cinnamon swirl sugar and crumbs icing sugar. But please remember, don't hoard all your icing sugars. I know all of you have got a cupboard full. You all have the big posts of, look how many I've got, and make us all jealous. So don't hoard them, use them. There's no better time now than to bake with your family. We all complain that we don't have time to bake. So now we're all in the social distance in isolation. There's no better time, there's no excuse not to bake. So make yourself some, make yourself some cookies, make yourself a cake. Use the sugars for anything, anything you use sugar in, you can use the flavoured icing sugars. So, um, in your whipped cream for tiramisu, or in trifles, um, cake sponges, cupcakes, cookies, anything you use sugar for. Caramel, fudge, there is so many recipes to use icing sugar on Carol's website, on the Sugar and Crumbs website. There is so much stuff you can use them for. But go back to basics, while you've got this time off, enjoy your baking like i've not made any cakes but i've been all biscuits because i like to make cookies so while you've got the time off use your icing sugars don't save them for best even or if you don't want to bake with them put them in cocktails make some nice cocktails with all the sugar and dip it in so yeah nice and fun so please for the for the giveaway please share the video you've got to like Carol's Sugar and Crumbs page, which I'm posting this from. So later on tonight, once I've given everyone a little chance, me and Mark will go into the shared section. I'll record him doing the spin and stop. Unless Mark, do you want to do it now? Come here, give me a, give me a film. Can I have a sing song? Because there's lots of people having a sing song in here. You're not having a sing song. So this is for the twenty-five pound voucher that I've got. When are strangers for love? You know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> You've got Miss Calls. Have I? Right. Yeah. Go off. I don't know. So just a second. Work. So the, this is for the £25 voucher that I've bought to give away for tonight. Let me get on. No, that's not what I want to do. That's poor. It. Stop it! <laughs> Oh okay, so let me just load them all up. Oh dear. Your phone's not very good for doing this, is it? Not really. So basically, I'm going to scroll up and down, and I want you to put your finger on someone. But I've just got to load everyone's up first. That one. No. Wait. So don't just tap it and take your finger off. You've got to hold it on so it stops me spinning. Okay? Well, like Sky Vegas. Yes, like Sky Vegas slots. Yeah, but I never win on Sky Vegas. Well, you're not winning anything. You've got vodka. <laughs> no, and it's gone. <sighs> have I got to go back to the shop? Right, so, go. Yeah, you have. Finger. Finger you. Right. Bren Carberry. Wait! So, Wait! Who's that? <laughs> So if you pop me a message and I'll get that £25 voucher for sugar and crumbs sent off to you. Bren Carberry. <laughs> Carol will also be doing one on Monday. Where's she from? Or he? Or She. From Stockport. From Stockport, Manchester, <laughs> Lancashire. Okay, no one needs to know any more details. So <laughs> Monday, Carol will be doing hers. So Bren, if you pop us a message, I'll get that voucher sent over to you. So once we've all done with all the cookies of bait, I will take photos and pop the recipes up for everybody. And I will also go through all the messages and answer anything Mark missed. Hopefully Carol picked up on them. 
but for anything that's been missed, I'll go through and I'll reply. I'll Short also pop song. No, no songs. Stop. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please stay safe. So stay safe, stay home, bake cookies. We love cookies. So yeah, if anything at all, please feel free to pop myself or any of the team a message and we're all happy to help. Don't forget also the Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles community group, which is absolutely fabulous, full of all the different bakers of all levels, lovely, fabulous little community. So yeah, thank you very much and have a lovely Monday evening. Bye. Do you want to turn the camera off? ta -ra. <laughs> Bye guys. What do I press? The off button. Which one's that? Don't come on. It's saying three hundred people live. Move. Heather Graham. I don't. I don't know what you're saying. No, it's no. a button saying.